what up everyone welcome back to the channel jamal here and we just want to say happy new year to each and every one of you um i haven't been i haven't been posting as frequently as i would like but i do appreciate people still subscribing still looking at some of the old videos and finding value in it so i definitely appreciate it and i thank you thank you all so in today's video i'm just going to be doing a little bit more of software development and in this case i'm going to be doing an add to card bot on a site that i that i own and manage it's pretty much um, a shop that highlights pretty much my prints that i have back here um of an island called anguilla so once i go there almost every year to, now i'm gonna take my drone with me and i take some nice prints nice shots excuse me and print them out and just post it online and what's not so today i'm just going to be showing you that add to cart process using java a little bit of JUnit, and selenium just to test the efficiency and see like how fast do these bot trailer run? I'm gonna have the time displayed so you can see how quick these things work opposed to going through the manual process. And you guys can see why bots always win, even though you can be on a web page, have your item ready to go, just waiting for the add to cart button to pop up, and you still can't beat them, even though you was as quick as possible. So there's a lot of things to see. I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's hop into it. All right, now that I have my IDE launched, I'm just going to set up my driver. So I'm going to initialize that variable. And then I'm going to create a new method called the add to cart test. And what I need to do right now is just simply set my Chrome driver. So I have a Chrome driver in this folder. I'm just going to copy that and make sure it's set and ready for the bot. All right, so now I'm going to get the driver and set that to the Chrome driver. And I'm just going to say driver get the URL and the URL I'm using is going to be shop.angular.plus. I'm just going to copy and paste that in there. And then I'm going to kick off this JUnit test to make sure everything is working. As you can see, I have an error. It's telling me the driver executable does not exist. So I found the issue. It was just this um, backslash. I removed it, fired up the test again. And now we have our browser launch beyond the web page. And you can see Chrome is being controlled by our automated test. So what I'm going to be doing is getting to this luster paper section. I'm going to get that element. And once I'm there, I'm going to just scroll down. I'm looking for a particular print. It's called Silicky Peak. Um, so what, once we find that, I'm just going to simply click that print. And it's going to bring us to that product page. This is a very nice print. I do have this print right above my monitor to the left of me. You guys can see that as well too. Um, so that's a print we're just going to be demoing today. We're going to be clicking the 11 by 14 option. Um, there is a sale going on, 15% off, by the way. And from there, we're just going to add three prints to the cart. So we're going to click this twice. And then we're going to add, click the add to cart button. All right, so that's pretty much the manual approach of what we're going to do. And now we just have to automate that. So the first thing I need to do is use the inspect tool. I'm going to bring that to the bottom. I'm just going to use my little pointer to find the element I want to interact with. I'm just going to copy the X path after that. So now that I have my web element, it's called a lost paper collection. I already have that defined. Since I'm going to be using the X path, I'm just going to paste that in there. And once I have that variable defined, I'm just going to simply do the click and then click on the lost paper collection. It's always good to add comments to your code. And that's what I'm just going to do as well. I'm just going to fire up the test, make sure that the click is working. And as we can see, we are on the lust of paper. From there, I'm just going to scroll down, look for another print or another element. And in this case, it's the silly key peak print. Um, so I'm just going to look up the Stack Overflow to find out um, how to use the scroll with Selenium. It's a little piece of JavaScript code that I need. So once I found that, I copy it, add it to my, to my code, and I just update the element name. Once I'm done, I'm going to fire up the test again. It's always good to test, 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 test. And just to make sure that that's happening as well. So the script loaded, got to the lost of paper page and it made the click. So now we are on that page that we were testing. So from, from here, all I'm going to do is just repeat the process such as 
getting the 11 by 14 element as well as the plus one so I can add multiple. Now that I have the script fired up, you know, we're chilling, listening to some music, made some updates, I added some weights, I added some more comments, and the script is ready to go. So right now in my weights, I do have two seconds, which is 2000 milliseconds, um, just to make sure everything runs smoothly. So after every click, it waits two seconds before it moves on. And we're just gonna see what that time looks like as well. Right now it didn't move as fast, it just took its time. So it, it did this in approximately 12 seconds, 12.26. So I'm just gonna try to see if I can beat that doing the same approach manually. So I'm just gonna scroll, click the luster paper, scroll down, look for that silly key, peak print, click it, choose the 11 by 14 option. Click, 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 got three to the cart and click add to the cart and we have about 15 seconds, so. You know, I, I, I definitely didn't beat it. So what I'm gonna do now is take away the two seconds, put the zero, no time waiting, fire it up, and let's take a look and see what the numbers look like. All right, so now we're looking at 5.54 seconds. All right, so what I'm gonna do is add to cart directly from the product page. So instead of going to the home page, we're just gonna be directly on that page and we're gonna do the same thing. 11 by 14 and add three of these things to the cart. So I'm gonna see a speed test to see what it looks like coming from the home page and what it looks like directly from the product page and compare the numbers. Wow, 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 let's stop that. So after seeing those impressive numbers, I decided to pick out the script again and see what the numbers look like again. And this time it came in at 6 seconds and 0 0.3, so even better than the first time. So there you guys have it. That's my simple process on how I create a add to cart bot. Um, again, I just do this for my personal use. I really don't try to venture out into those big brands and try to get those hot items. So it's just, just to show you like what the numbers are and what you're faced against when you try to get these limited items in. You know, I even ran another third test just to see what the numbers will look like. Fraction of a second, man. It, it is, it's amazing. Let me, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like the video, definitely smash the like button. Appreciate you for watching. See you guys in another video.